Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Bud. Another review. We are checking out the new H. Upman Connoisseur number two. Let's see how it tastes. So my friends, the brand new H. Upman Connoisseur number two. That's the newest addition to um, the H. Upman line, to the H. Upman brand. And I think it's the most recent addition to all of the Cubans. Really brand new. Um, already smoked two or three of them. And, um, but I'll tell you a little bit more while smoking. On the first glance, very good looking cigar. A little bit bigger than a Robusto. Uh, actually, the, the interesting thing is uh, it has a ring gauge of 51. And that is the only Cuban cigar in the world that has a ring gauge of 51. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> a ring gauge of 51 and it's a 5 dot. 275 inches long, 5'2 something. Actually, the smell, my friends, almost nothing. But we know from all the reviews we were doing here that not always the smell is telling us the truth in regards of the taste. So let's first see what the cold draw is telling us. Hmm? Vanilla. The sweetness of vanilla, that's, that's kind of unusual, but that the first was the first flavor I had. Other than that, woodish. I would say Let's get this thing started. So guys, we, and with we, I mean smoker spot. You know, I'm not doing this all alone here. I'm just the guy in front of the camera. Um, we were invited to the global lounge of the H. Upman Condesser number two. There was a few weeks ago, and there was an online event, of course online, because still Corona is going on here in Germany. Well, not only Germany, worldwide. Mm. So the German distributor of Cuban cigars, uh, Fifth Avenue, they're called Fifth Avenue. Uh, it's a German company and they're distribu distributing Cuban cigars in Germany in Poland and in Austria. Um, they were initiating or um, started this this global launch of the new of the new H. Upman Condesser number two. We were invited and was were able to join the 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 party. Uh, what were they doing there? Of course, they were smoking the cigar. A couple of people were there from Fifth Avenue talking about H. Upman Condesser number two. They had the Cuban ambassador over there who was talking a little bit. Um, they had um, uh, some kind of, they had Cuban music over there and, well, a couple of people talking about cigars. <laughs> well, it was a very nice event, I have to tell you that. Also, um, and they, all, they also knew that, uh, very often, if you're watching our reviews over here and cigar talks and so on, very often I'm not so happy with Cuban cigars because of the quality issues they have. Nevertheless, they invited us Thanks a lot, Fifth Avenue. Thanks a lot uh, to all the guys who were involved in the Global Lounge and everything which is going around there. Great event. Thanks a lot. Was cool to be there. Mm. So back then, in the uh, where the, when the Global Lounge took place, I was smoking one, 
and then the week after that I was going to my favorite dealer buying a couple of more um, and now we're doing the review it's still brand new mm. and you know what it's a good starter a very mild I have this woodish aromas as I said some sweetness I'm wondering about the leather leather is not there at the moment because you know the typical Cuban flavors uh, like signature flavors are uh, earth and leather earth a little bit but earth you know that's always kind of that's coming together with me uh, when we're talking about tobacco flavors in general there there's always a little bit of earth in there good start good draw on point very mild that's why I, that's why I said it's a good starter I think and because it's not such a big cigar very good first impression really I was bringing a longer whiskey with me uh, it's not a pairing but I thought it very good that's a Nikka coffee malt that's a good Japanese whiskey and I thought the the special flavors that this whiskey has were coming very good along with this uh, connoisseur number two. Um, well, let's see how it develops. With the H. Upman Connoisseur Number Two, newest addition to H. Upman and to Cuban cigars in general. Good one. I'm not easy to say that with Cuban cigars. That's a good one, really. Good draw. The taste is fantastic developed nicely always mild has some sweetness which is this sort of sweetness kind of unusual in Cuban cigars but I like it very much on this one um, some woodish aromas combined with uh, the typical earth flavors I have no leather at all don't know maybe it's because I'm drinking the Nikka coffee malt over here or has some has to do it with something else not sure but I taste no leather at the moment only drawback the burn wasn't perfect it's looking good now I'd have corrected one time uh, but there was just a minor issue you know uh, like I said I had to correct it only one time after that it burned fine uh, construction wise other than that very good cigar and for like 13 euros and 50 cents at around 15 bucks very affordable cuban cigar good starter good overall uh, impression just to catch that's one of the cigars that i can easily recommend for anyone who's smoking cigars because even if you're a beginner you can smoke this one it's not too too strong it's not over complex it's not overwhelming you with flavors and different aromas very balanced overall good Cuban 
and I like H. Upman, you know, not only that there, that this is one of the oldest um, Cuban prints. They started like 1844, I think. And actually, uh, and I'm not saying this because I'm German. Um, uh, it's it's interesting because two German two German merchants were founding uh, H. Upman, uh, Hermann and uh, August. So if you pronounce it in English, it's Hermann and August Upman. In German, Hermann Upman. So they founded H. Upman. And you know, there's still a mystery about the because it's called H. Upman, H. Upman. You see that on every on every band, and still nobody knows exactly what the H is standing for. They never clarified it back then. They sold it early. Uh, 1844 it was found. A couple of years later, they already were, were selling it because they had some troubles. Um, and the fact why they called it H. Upman was uh, forgotten somehow in the terminals of the of this time there's this one theory that the h is standing for herman so one of the brothers uh, other theory is that it's it's meaning hermanos so spanish brothers um nobody knows uh but that's okay you don't have to know everything uh most important fact is that it's tasting good And while I was smoking, I emptied my first glass of of my Nikka whiskey. Uh, I guess I have to drink one more. You know, guys, while I'm sitting here, I'm playing with a new with a new setup. Uh, I wasn't very uh, I was not very happy about the old setup over here. Why? I'm telling you. Mm. You know, because of the lockdown over here and Corona and all that stuff, they closed the lounge where uh, where we are usually doing all the reviews and videos and stuff. So I'm doing it from home, and I have my own little lounge over here. It's in the first. It's in the first floor of my my house. There's a little my area. It's my little mini lounge. There are only books over here, which you can tell us on the other side of the room on the other wall. There are also a lot of books. On the right, there's whiskey, and uh, after two cabinet humidors, on I've also a small humidor over here, um, and so on. So, but I had a couple of possibilities to sit here, but they were very low. And every time I was recording something, I had to move around. I mean, it was it was okay, but it wasn't perfect. So I thought do something else so I bought a new table that I can fold and unfold and it's, that's where all the stuff here is standing right now and I bought another chair like the ones you when you're sitting uh, at, at the bar um, but now it's looking good but I'm a little bit too far away from the camera you know I have to really stretch my arm to show you something and then another issue because of the light there it's throwing some weird shadows over here. you know when I'm showing you a cigar it's very dark I don't like that so I'm still not very happy about this one it's looking better than the other perspective I had but I guess I have to work on that a little uh, you know guys tell me you like that perspective when I'm a little bit far when I'm a little bit away from the camera or you like it when I'm a little bit more close uh, you like the light or not uh, tell me leave it in the comments please let me know if you like it or not uh, I'm still unsure you know anyways guys cheers thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the review of this new H. Upman Connoisseur number two. Oh, I forgot one thing. You know what's interesting? I wanted to tell you that while I was talking about the theory behind the H dot Upman, what the H means. They're writing Connoisseur wrong. They, they spelled it wrong. And But that also was the case with old Connoisseurs. And also nobody's known why they're writing, writing Connoisseur in the way they're doing it over here. Uh, because it should be spelled differently. 
Nobody knows. <laughs> if you know, let me know. So guys, cheers. Uh, enjoy a good cigar, enjoy a good whiskey. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy, that's the most important thing. Goodbye.